sitting up nice and tall. Close your eyes. Bring your hands to rest comfortably on your lap. Take a moment to settle into stillness. Stillness in the body, in the mind, and even deeper into your energy and your spirit. And to bring as much of your awareness into this moment as you can. And the next time you exhale, please exhale your breath all the way out. Breathing in through your nostrils. Take a deep breath. Breathing out through your mouth, let it go. In through your nose. Out through your mouth. In through your nose. Out through your mouth. Please stretch your arms over your head. Take a deep breath in. Bring your hands to your heart. Let it go. Exhale. Ah. Press your palms together. Lift up to the crown of your head. Seal your lips, please, and breathe through just the nostrils now. So we're gonna maintain the fullness and depth of the breath, breathing in through the nose until you feel your chest and belly full of breath and energy, and breathing out through the nose until you feel as close to that empty as possible, really forcing out breath to make space for the next breath in. We'll continue to build and deepen the breath, don't lose that, but we're gonna to start to add in sound quality to the breath, that audible sensation that helps to define our ujjayi breath. If you're new to yoga, ujjayi breath is a heated breathing practice in which we use the vocal cords at the back of the throat to almost filter the breath in and out of the body. This adds a layer of heat to the, the body, the inner body as you breathe, and the quality of sound as you move. So the sound is filling up the space around you. All right, so breathing in and out through the nose, tone the muscles of the back of the throat, move the breath down the back of the throat. You should feel like a little vibration. And you'll hear the sound of a loud whisper coming from the throat and filling up the space around you. Don't lose that. That's what's going to guide us through our practice, our ujjayi breath. In fact, that ujjayi breath fills up the space around you so much, it almost insulates us from outside forces. It's a way for us to be, let's say, protected from anything outside of ourself that is trying to distract or limit us. While we're here in this space, we can throw up the shield of our breath to keep us here and now, present and focused, undeterred, very, very present within each action, each thought, each breath. All right, so today 
dedicating yourself into being present in a way that doesn't allow for outside distraction. If they start to come in, great, acknowledge them, set them to the side, recommit to the efforts of breathing with intention, of moving with purpose, of staying focused. Exhale your breath all the way out. Inhale four, Om. Oh. Blink your eyes open and make your way onto your hands and knees, please. All right, come on, yoga, spread your fingers wide, hands under shoulders, Place, uh, press down into your hands. You, you should feel the four corners of your hands on your mat, the pointer finger knuckle, the inner edge of your wrist, the pinky finger knuckle, and the outer edge of your wrist. Now we're gonna make some circles around our wrist, keeping those four corners of the hands pressing down, really moving into those four corners. I have the inner, outer edge of the hands, inner, outer edge of the hands, circle the other way, Inner to outer edge of the hands. Inner to outer edge of the hands. Turn your palms face up, please. Point your fingers in towards each other. Press down to the backs of the hands. Wiggle your fingers and roll out your thumbs. Rock side to side. Press down and sway from right to left and left to right. Extend out into the back of the hand, but press up into the palm of your hand. The back of the hand stays down, you're still pushing up to those four corners and it should provide with a nice resistance for the stretch of the forms. And let's go ahead and tuck the toes, please. Sit back onto your heels, take your arms up to the sky. Spread your fingers wide before closing your hand tight into a fist, then flicking the fingers off the thumbs to open the hand back up. Please extend all the way through your arms so that your elbows are extended. You have to take your arms wider, that's okay. Hands tight, all the way open. Hands tight. All the way up and ready, going a little bit faster if you can for 10. All the way, extending through the arms, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Shake it out, please. Bring your hands back down to the ground. Fingers point forward to the top of the mat. Lean forward into your hands. Lift your palms up, but keep the knuckles down. Lower the palms back down. Lean forward, lift the palms, keep the knuckles down. Lower the palms. Let's go for five. Lift the palms lower. Four, three, two, one. Now we're going to do the same thing, but coming up to the fingertips. All right. So this is different. Before we were just lifting the palms, the knuckles and fingers stay down. Now the whole hand, except for the fingertips, will come up. Okay. Fingertips press to lift yourself up and lower. Now make sure that as you're doing this, you're not rocking back. You want to keep as much of your weight forward over your hands as you can. It should feel like a push-up in your hands. Press up to your fingers and lower the palms back down. Let's do that three more times. Up and down. Lean forward. Up and down. Lean forward. Up. Hold it here. Chin to your chest. Tuck your tailbone. Squeeze your glutes. Cat pose. Round the back. Inhale. Cow pose. It's the opposite action. Spin your thighs back. Drop your belly. Lift your chest. Even gazing up. Exhale, cat pose, chin to chest, tuck your tailbone, squeeze your hoops, looking back. Press to the fingertips, inhale, cow pose, thighs back, heart lifted. Exhale, cat pose, round into your back, chin to your chest. Inhale, cow pose. Lower the palms down, turn your fingers back towards your thighs, please. Cat pose, rock forward, chin to chest, lean into it, squeeze your inner thighs together and spin them back. Sorry, tuck them forward. Inhale, cow pose. Now spin your inner thighs back. Lift your chest up, sit back a little bit. I'll say it again. Exhale, come forward. Cat pose, chin to chest, squeeze your inner thighs together and then tuck the tailbone, squeeze the glutes. Inhale, cow pose. Bring your hips back, lift your chest up. One more time. Cat pose, exhale, rock forward, round into the back body. Inhale, cow pose. Lift your chest, look up, 
sit back onto your heels, pause, press through your hands, bend the elbows a little bit, stretch your wrists and forearms. Walk your hands back behind you. Turn your palms face up, fingers point towards the back of the mat. Lean back, lift your knees up off the mat. You can do one knee at a time. For some of us, this is just gonna feel a little bit better. And we don't wanna move into a place where we're feeling pain. You should feel a stretch though. All right, so you should be feeling something, just not pain, please. If you wanna come up to your fingertips and lift up to your toes, you can get a little bit deeper. Very good, lower your knees back down. Come on to your hands and knees. Let's keep moving the spine. Reach your left arm out to the left, stretch out through your fingertips. Thread your left arm underneath you, lower down onto the back of your left shoulder. Bring the left side of your head down to the ground and walk your right hand out in front of you. From here, you're gonna tuck your right hip back a little bit and look underneath your right armpit for a nice twist. Breathe in through your nose and out through your nose. And bring your right hand back down under your right shoulder. Press down through your right hand, open your left arm up to the sky, and step your left foot back behind you into a supported side plank pose. You're gonna push down through your right hand a lot, circle your left arm forward over your head and get long through your left side body. Now lift your left leg up off the mat. A little slowly, softly with control. Try not to stop it forward, but really take your time. Sweep your left leg out to the left, Keep it lifted, start to pull it forward, hover it still as much as you can, and really lightly, softly with control, lower the left foot down. Both hands down, inhale, look forward and lunge. Pull forward into your chest, press down into your feet. Exhale, straighten your leg, flex your toes. Pull back into your hips, fold all the way in. This time as you rock forward, take both arms up to the sky. Big breath in. You're gonna bring your left hand to your left hip, side bend to your left side. Reach out for your right fingertips, side bend up and over. Inhale, take both arms up. You can bring your right hand to your right hip, the bl a block or the ground. Side bend to your right side. Inhale, come back up. And now interlace the hands behind your back, please. Slide your fingers down your back leg, reach the, you can extend your pointer fingers to reach towards the ground. See if you can deepen your lunge just a little bit more. Both arms come back up to the sky, plant the hands, step, pick up your back knee, sorry, and straighten your front leg. Shake out your hips a little bit. Shake, shake your hips from right to left, from right to left. Drop your nose in towards your knee. Press down into your hands. Keep your left leg up to the sky. Three-legged dog, please. Left leg goes up and back. Inhale. Exhale, stack your left hip over your right hip. Press to your hands a lot. We're gonna make some big circles with our left knee. Big circles with your left knee. Circle the other way, big circles with your left knee. Inhale, re-extend your left leg up to the sky, reach up, stretch back to your toes. Exhale, rock forward, bring your left knee into your chest, press down into your hands, bring your nose to your knee, and lower your left knee down to the ground. Lift your right leg up, reach your left arm forward, please. Stretch out through your fingertips, reach back to your heel. And you can stay here if you'd like or circle your left arm back. Try to grab your right foot. And if you can, kick the foot into your hand. Press through your right hand, lift through your chest. Just holding for three. Good, Stephen. Grab the pinky toe edge of your foot so your shoulder can really roll back. Yeah, two, lift your chest, lift the crown of your head. And one, extend it back out. Reach forward, stretch back, draw your belly in. Place the hands down, place the knees down. Reach your right arm out to the right. Thread your right arm underneath you and come down onto your right shoulder. 
Walk your left hand forward and look up underneath your left arm. Twist and breathe. In your nose, out your nose. Let's bring the left hand back under the left shoulder, please. Push down to sweep the right arm up and step the right foot back, supported side plank pose. Reach your right arm over your head. Make sure you're rotating your left shoulder back. So the hand's on the ground, everybody. Push down into your left hand. Spin your left bicep forward more. So your left shoulder is rolling back. And try to roll your left shoulder behind your ear. Good. Uh, I think the other way, Mason. Spin the eye of your elbow forward. Yeah, the elbow pit, there you go, spins forward towards the top of the mat. It's like you're trying to twist your hand into the ground, lefty loosey, like you were trying to turn open a jar of pickles. So spin the left hand into the mat. Good. Reach your right arm forward, lift your right leg up, slow and controlled. Push through your left hand, right leg sweeps forward. Slow and control. Try not to just stomp it to the top. Really softly land the right foot down. Good. Mason, really nice. Right hand down inside. Look forward and lunge. Press into your feet. Stretch into your chest. Right leg extends. Flex your toes. Pull back into your hips. Fold it in. Drop it in. Nose to the inside of the knee. This time as you rock forward, lunge. Take both arms up to the sky. So you want to make sure we're not feeling this too much in our low back, everybody. Draw your belly in, start there, and let's engage the legs more. Flex your quads, scissor your thighs together, as if you were trying to drag the front edge of the mat and the back edge of the mat towards each other. Now don't lose that, don't lose that engagement. Press into your feet. Bring your right hand to your right hip, side bend to your right. Keep that same engagement. It's really subtle, so you're not doing it so much that you can't maintain it just enough to feel it, to make it work, to hold it. Okay, take your right arm back up, side bend to your other side. You can do left hand to your hip, the ground, or a block. Scissor thighs together, push down into your feet and stretch. Keep the back body really full, the low back protected. Take both arms up, interlace the hands behind your back. Same thing here. Make sure you're not dropping into your low back and lumbar, but scissoring thighs together. Pushing down into your feet to go deeper here. Shouldn't be a collapsing of your mid and lower back, but a stretching of your hips and hip flexors. Take both arms back up to the sky. Place the hands down at the top of the mat. Tuck your back toes, pick up your back knee. Straighten your legs, please. And you can shake your hips a little bit here. Shake them out right to left, left to right. That feels good to get into the IT band a little bit more. And two straight legs, push down into your hands. We're gonna sweep the right leg up and back. Three-legged dog, breathe in. Stack your right hip over your left hip, exhale. Let's make some big circles with your right knee, please. Circle it out, big circles. Circle it the other way, really big circles. Inhale, extend your right leg up to the sky, pressing through your hands. Right knee into your chest, rock forward, bring your nose to your knee. Lower your right knee down to the ground. And lift your left leg up, here we go. A Little bit of balance and core work. Draw your belly in, reach your right arm forward, like you're shaking someone's hand. You might choose to stay here, lift your thumb a little higher, or reach back and grab your back foot. Grab the pinky toe edge of your foot, so that you can roll your right shoulder back a little bit more. And if you can, kick the foot into your hand. Lift your chest, press through your left hand, lift the crown of your head for three. Nice, Emily, two. And one, extend it back out. Reach forward, stretch back, draw your belly in. Good, both hands and knees down. Inhale, cow pose, lift into your chest, look up. Rock forward and lower halfway down. Keep your chest up, hold it for three, two, one. Press back up onto hands and knees. One more time, shift forward, 
and lean forward. Bring your elbows to your ribs, lower halfway down for three, two, one, press up. Good, watch. Make sure we're not doing this, you guys. Um, we're not doing this action, all right? We're going to, let's do one more. Rock forward, okay, go forward, okay? And then bend your elbows coming forward and down. Three, two, press back, child's pose, one. And as a reminder, you always have access to this child's pose at any point during the practice. All right, let's take this one step up. All right, we'll do it one time. Come up to plank pose, top of a push up. Before we go, rock forward onto your tiptoes, press back into your heels. Okay, stay in plank pose. Uh, so good, Annie, drop your hips, yeah. Rock forward to your tiptoes, stay in plank pose, press back into your heels, keep your hips low. Good, Annie, plank pose, lower your hips. Rock forward to your tiptoes, Hey, keep your hips from spiking up. Tuck your tailbone, squeeze your glutes. Now you're gonna lower as low as you can, halfway down, elbows to ribs. Hold it, keep your head up, keep your hips up. Press up, plank pose. Press back down, we're done. Nice job, everybody. So that is our chaturanga. And it's important for us to start to trust in our strength there. It's a forward movement with the elbows bent. We want to keep the hips from dropping or the head from dropping to give us the perception of going lower. Instead, it's our arms that are bending to give us the actual action of lowering down. All right, please lift your left leg high to the sky. Reach it up, stretch it back. Bring your left heel to land in front of your right big toe, please. Here we go. Lift your right leg up to the sky. And now your right heel is going to land just in front of your left big toe, right heel to left big toe. Eventually, for a lot of us, we're gonna come up to our fingertips for this, but no matter if you're on your hands or your fingertips, continue to extend through your arms as much as you can, pressing the ground away. Lift your left leg up, stretch it back as much as you can, not just lifting, but also extending. Stretch it back. Bring your left heel to your right big toe. This is a really great way to build strength and mobility in our legs. Lift your right leg up, right leg lifts, stretch it back, press to your hands, right heel to left big toe. One more time, this is the most fun one. Left leg lifts up, extend it back, left foot to left thumb, left foot to left thumb. Right leg lifts up, extend it back, and your hands are down as best you can. Maybe it's your fingertips. You can use blocks under the hands. Right foot to right thumb. Ooh, yeah. So we're working on that hip flexor mobility and hamstring stretch. It should be challenging, but you know, we'll just keep working at it. And over time, we continue to know our changes, know our growth, or just expand our awareness, see where we are and note it. Inhale, lift up halfway. And there's no guarantee in yoga that we're always going to grow or there's always going to be change. The greatest change we can have is the expansion of our awareness, seeing and understanding more of what we're doing and why we're doing it. Exhale, fold in, drop your nose towards your knees. Legs are active. Rise up to standing, inhale, take your arms to the sky, please. Interlace your fingers, pointer fingers extend, side bend to your left side, push down into your feet, squeeze into your glutes. Stretch out through your fingertips. Then you'll come back up. Side bend to your right side. Same thing. Glutes engaged. Belly in. Stretch it out. Inhale, come back up. Cactus the arms and exhale. Take the shoulders down the back. Shoulder blades move down the back towards your back pockets. Then lift up into your heart. Open up. Chair pose. Reach the arms up. Sit back. So if you can, work your chair pose low to the height of your knees. Start to strengthen your legs more. Hug the midline, chin squeeze together. Inner thigh spiral down, lift into your chest. Forward fold, exhale, nose to knees. Inhale, lift up halfway, extend up the spine. Your choice on how you get back. You can plant the hands, step back to plank pose, or plant the hands, hop back to bent elbows, chaturanga, already in that bottom of the push-up action. 
When you're ready, take it back. Chatter and go. Cobra pose. Roll the shoulders back. Pull the bottom of the heart forward. Without taking your head back, lift the crown of the head up. Downward facing dog. Nice, everybody. Inhale, lift your right leg to the sky. Reach it up, extend it out. Not just the height, but the extension. Stretching through the right leg, stretching through the left leg. Right knee, uh, sorry, right foot to left big toe. Right heel to left big toe. There we go. Left leg lifts up, extend it out. Left heel to right big toe. We'll keep it going. Right leg lifts up, extend it out. Right heel to left big toe. Left leg lifts up, extend it out. Press through your hands. Left heel to right big toe. One more time. Right leg lifts up, extend it out. Right foot to right thumb. Left leg lifts up, extend it back. Left foot to left thumb. Inhale, lift up halfway. Hug your shins in, spin your thighs back, pull your heart forward. Exhale, fold in, nose to knees. Push down, rise up, kick your arms to the sky. Interlace the fingers, pointer fingers extend, side bend to the right, push down through your feet. Pick it up, side bend to your left, draw into the Inhale, come back up. Cactus the arms, curl it back. Chair pose, inhale, drop your hips, get low. Exhale, forward fold, nose to knees. Inhale, lift up, halfway and extend. Plant the hands, take it back. You can step to plank or lightly hop to chaturanga. Remember, if you're hopping, nice step. You wanna land with bent. Elbows already in your chaturanga. Cobra pose. Roll your shoulders back. Rather than pulling your head back, pull your heart forward. Lift your chest up. Lift the crown of your head upwards. So this action of pulling the head back isn't really doing much for our back bending. It's kind of just stretching the front of the throat. It's that, again, perception of back bending. Just like when we downward dog, when we lower into our chaturanga and we drop the head, it's the perception of lowering down. We want to start being more intentional in terms of what we're trying to accomplish. Inhale, lift up to your toes and bend your knees. Look forward. If you can, lightly hop it forward, forward fold. If you want, lightly step it forward. forward, forward. Inhale to lift up halfway, please. Fold and exhale, nose to knees. Rise up to stand and reach your arms up to the sky. Cactus the arms, exhale. Shoulders drop down the back. Chest is lifted. Chair pose. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Sweep the arms back. Interlace the fingers behind your back. Make sure your legs are active. If you can see your thighs and your knees, lift your kneecaps. Flex your quads. Keep that. Hug your shins in and spiral your inner thighs back to broaden your hips. Extend through that space. From your hips, push down into your feet, please. From your hips, stretch up your side body and stretch up and over your head with your knuckles. Fold a little bit deeper. Inhale, bring your hands to your low back. Exhale, slide the hands down to the ground. Bend your knees. You're gonna bring your butt to your heels and come up to your toes. Okay, so we're in this little toe squat action here. This next part could be a little bit challenging. If you have blocks with you, you might even put the blocks in front of you. You'll see why in a second. So we're gonna work to lower the knees down to the ground without using the hands. It's really good work for our ankle mobility. If you need to use your hands, that's fine too. All right, let's go ahead. Lower the knees down, inhale. Maybe the knees land on the blocks for support. And then exhale, pick your knees up and lower your heels to the ground. Try to keep your butt off the ground. It's okay if the heels don't come all the way down and you can also use your hands. All right, inhale, lower your knees to the ground. Lean back a little bit. Exhale, lower your heels to the ground. Lean forward a little bit. Last time. Inhale, lower your knees to the ground. Pause. Now bring your hands to your low back. 
Lift your hips up and camel pose. Pin the elbows back. Press your hips forward. Lift into your chest. Pin the elbows back. Shoulder blades move down. Chest is lifted. One more breath here. Slowly pick it up. Inhale. Bring your butt back to your heels. Exhale, lift the knees up. One more time, lower your heels down. And I'll give you choices. You can either step back to down dog. If you want to take a crow pose here, knees to the backs of the arms, rock forward, crow pose. Maybe the feet stay down for today's crow pose. That's fine too. Do the best you can. You can step back to down dog or come up into your crow pose. Elbows hug in, thighs pull the ribs. Low belly lifts, make sure your hips are lifted here. Three, two, step or hop back. One, chaturanga. We're all gonna meet in our downward facing dog. <clears throat> nice work, everybody. Breathe in through your nose and out through your nose, please. In through your nose and out through your nose. Remember your breath. And remember your power. In this practice space, we've put up this impenetrable force field around us with our breath and the energy of it. Nothing outside of ourselves can affect us, can weigh us down, can deter us, can limit us. All of the power to shape our own reality, our own experience, our own heart, mind, body, and spirit are right here within us already. Lift your left leg to the sky, stretch it up and back. Bring your left knee to your left shoulder. Please step outside of your left hand. Lower your right knee down to the ground and you can stay here or reach back with your left hand and grab your right foot. Grab the pinky toe edge of your foot if you can. Sometimes having a block or book or anything under the right hand can make this more comfortable. Once you have the foot in your hand, we're gonna pulse it. Squeeze the heel into your bum, squeezing your right glute as you deepen your lunge. Kick the foot back into your hand. Roll the shoulders back, lean back a little bit. Squeeze the heel into your bum. Roll the shoulders back, right shoulder back, left shoulder back. Kick the foot into your hand. Good job. Deepen your lunge more. Squeeze into your right glute, heel to bum, squeeze. Deepen your lunge. Nice, Lauren. Can you hug your left leg in just a little bit more? Kick the foot back into your hand. Yeah, kick back, lean back. Very nice, everybody. Release the back foot, circle your left hand down to the ground. Pick up your back leg. This can be a little bit tricky, right leg lifts up. You're gonna take your right hand over to the left and out in front of you as far as you can. Then bend your right knee again, squeezing your heel to your bum. So we're gonna work on balance, hip flexor extension, right, and a little bit of hamstring stretching, uh, hamstring strengthening. Squeeze your heel to your bum a lot. Then stack your right hip over your left hip. All right. If you can, drop your head, look underneath your right armpit. And so you get in this kind of interesting side bend stretch, All right? Squeezing your heel to your bum, pull your thigh back, a little bit of a back bending sensation and a nice twist. Look up, one more breath, feel the bum, right thigh back. Keep your left hand where it is. Step your right foot way back behind you, side angle pose. So your left hand's gonna stay out in front of you. I'm gonna bring my left knee and armpit to connect. My right arm is gonna reach forward so that my left rib cage is kind of resting on my left thigh. You can use blocks, and if this is uncomfortable, modify. Bring your elbow to your thigh, bring your hand to the inside of the ankle. But eventually, if you can, we're gonna try to lift the left arm up and reach both arms forward. So you're kind of stretching really long through both sides of the torso. Big breath in, both hands down, exhale, turn to your right, wide-legged fold. Big toes turn in, wide-legged fold. In through your nose, out through your nose. Flex your toes, sorry, not flex your toes, flex your thighs, spin your inner thighs back to broaden your hips, and now extend out through your legs to fold in deeper. Each time we're in a shape, we have the opportunity to refine it, to open to grace. 
right? To take in new knowledge, to release old patterns of limitation. All of that is within us already. Right? The power to expand or contract, to move away from limitation or expectation. One more breath here. That exists within us here and now. Press through your feet, stretch through your side body, crown of the head towards the ground. Inhale, lift up to your fingertips, please. Bend your right knee, skandasana. Right knee bends, left leg extends. You want to keep your heels down, but move your hips back. You don't need to go super low here. Rather, work on engaging the legs more. Squeeze your heels together, draw your thighs to your hips. Press out through your feet, lift up into your chest. Maybe the hands come up. Maybe you start to work your bum even more, but that's just over time and optional. Walk your hands back to the top of the mat, please. Two choices, step back to down dog, or if you want, take a side plank to your right side. Left arm up, left foot steps back. And in this side plank, you even have more options. You can bring your right knee down to the ground for support. You can cross your ankles, staggering your feet gives you more support. I'll even throw in one more option, wild thing. Step your left foot back, lift into your hips, reach to your fingertips. Whatever choice you make is yours, and that's awesome. Remember that power to shape your own practice. When you're ready, my friends, come back to plank pose. Everybody, wherever you ended up, you'll meet in plank. No matter what path you take, it's nice to know that in this journey, we still find those times where we come together. Hug your forearms in, press the ground away. Keep your head up. You don't want to pull your head down to lower you into your chaturanga. Rock forward to your tiptoes. Press back into your still in plank pose. Rock forward to your tiptoes. Press back into your heels. One more time. Rock forward to your tiptoes. Head is up. Press the ground away. Bring your elbows to your ribs. Lower all the way down. Nice. Really good. Lauren, awesome. Emily, awesome. Point your toes. Press your feet down. Cobra pose. Inhale. Pull the bottom of the heart forward as you wrap the elbows back. Downward dog, exhale. Please lift your right leg high to the sky. Bring your right knee to your right shoulder. Step outside of your right hand. Lower your left knee down. Now you have the choice. You can stay right here. Sometimes placing a block under the left hand can make this a lot more accessible. Reach your right arm forward, up, and back to grab your left foot. Try to grab the pinky toe edge of your foot so that you have the space to roll the right shoulder back. Also notice what's happening to your left shoulder. My friends, you don't want your left shoulder to be dropping in towards your right thigh. Roll your left shoulder back. Open up across your chest. Remember that pickle analogy. With the left hand, imagine you're turning open a jar of pickles using your left hand. So twist the hand energetically into the mat and see if you can rotate your left shoulder back more. Squeeze your left glute, pull your heel to your bum, deepen your lunge. Kick the foot into your back, open your heart. Make sure your right thigh isn't just wildly flaring out to the right, contain it. Squeeze your left heel to your bum, squeeze the glute. Kick the foot back into your hand, lean back. One more time, squeeze in and kick back. Release the back foot. Place the right hand down on the ground. Pick your left leg up, standing split. Now we're going to take your left hand, sweep it all the way over to the right, all the way forward and out to the right. The further you can take the left hand out, the bigger the stretch you'll get, but you also have to maintain your balance and integrity. So check in, where can you maintain breath? Where can you maintain form? Flex your quads, squeeze your left heel to your bum, bend your left knee. Keep reaching out through your left fingertips if you can and pull your left thigh back, stacking your left tip over your right hip. So your hips are stacked, you're turning sideways almost. Look underneath your left armpit if you can for that last little edge of the pose. Twist, turn, rotate, and squeeze. A lot of things happening at once here. Step your left foot back. I like when those poses demand a lot of our focus because it doesn't let other thoughts creep in. If you start to feel the action, the thoughts of like outside forces or 
uh, inner saboteur voices talking to you. Focus more on what you can do and what you can breathe more rather than what is limiting you. Reach out to your left fingertip, stretch forward. Press into your feet, and if you can, you don't have to, but maybe the right arm also reaches forward. Stretching out through the fingertips, pressing down into your feet, leaning back, inhale. So good. Exhale, both hands down. Turn to your left, wide-legged fold. I'm such a big fan of this wide-legged fold lately, everyone. It's just such a good feeling to stretch out the legs, to pull the head towards the ground. It feels like so much freedom and release my neck and low back. So hopefully you find that as well. Make your legs strong, flex your quads, spiral your inner thighs back, broaden your hips, extend through your legs, extend through your side body, head to the ground. Inhale, lift up to your fingertips. Left side, skandasana, bend your left knee, sit back into your hips. Maybe the hands come up, but it's okay if they don't. Work to bring your heels down, but keep your legs active. Can you lift to the pelvic floor? Draw thighs to hips, pull the pelvic floor away from the mat. Walk your hands forward. Left hand comes down, ready. Step back to down dog or take it into your side plank pose on your left side. So many options. You can bring your left knee down, stagger your feet or cross your ankles. You can even turn it into a wild thing, swing the right foot back, reaching through the fingertips. Squeeze into your left glute as you stretch the right arm over your head. Good, Cynthia, left shoulder back even more if you can. Yes, come back around plank pose. Let's all meet in plank and we're gonna do three rocks before we lower. Rock forward to your toes, press down into your hands. Stay in plank pose, press into your heels, still in plank. Rock forward to your toes, press down into your hands. Still in plank, press into your heels. Hey, one more time, rock forward to your toes, press down. Make sure your head and chin aren't pulling you down. Elbows to ribs, lower forward and down. Good. Aaron, really nice. So good, everyone. Point your toes, cobra pose. That was awesome. Pull your chest forward, downward. Facing up. Let's go through that one more time. Lift your left leg high to the sky. Bring your left knee to your left shoulder, please. Step outside of your left hand. Lower your right knee down. You can stay right here, just like this, if you'd like. Or once again, reach back with your left hand to grab your right foot. Squeeze your heel to your bum. Take the foot back into your hand. Squeeze the heel to your bum. Take the foot back into your hand. One more time, squeeze heel in, kick foot back. Okay, circle the left hand down to the ground. This time it's a half moon pose. Place the left hand down, lift the right leg up, open the right arm to the sky. Try to get long through the sides of the body still. If you want to take the bind, reach back with your right hand and grab your right foot. Chapasana is optional here. Wherever you are, maintain strength and integrity in breath and body. Flex your quads, drop thighs to hips, extend out through your legs, your heart free. We'll make our way back to our side angle pose. Can you keep your left hand where it is? Step your right foot back and reach your right arm forward. Slide the right foot back so that you're pretty long into this lunge. And if you feel good, maybe your left arm also reaches forward here. Turning the right rib cage back, wrapping the left hip under, extending out your legs, turn to your right side wide, leg it forward full. Nice job, everybody. Here is another option for you. Stay in the wide legged fold, pull yourself in and down. You can interlace the hands behind your back again if you want, or if you have the practice of headstand, you might play with coming up into your headstand. Hands under shoulders, head landing just past the fingertips. And if this is where you are, great. Maybe you bring your knees to the backs of your elbows and lift the feet up 
like a crow pose on your head. Right? If you want to work more, lift up to your tiptoes, tilt your hips forward, draw your low belly in, and lift the legs up with control. Breathe. This is a great way to stay focused and present. When you're in a shape like this, your mind has a hard time wandering off. Breathe. Stay in this moment. Remember your strength, power. Trust in your knowledge and your ability. And when you're ready, come on down. Come on down. If the price is right. Inhale, lift up to your fingertips. Everyone, let's get back together. Exhale, skandasa. Whatever your path, we have these moments where we all come back together to share in our journey. Come back to the top of the mat, please. You have the choice of stepping back to down dog or one more time, side plank to the right side. Possibly wild thing. My more advanced yogis may even land the top of their left foot. The ground up, press down to the top of the foot. Let's meet back in plank pose. Right in our vinyasa this time. Listen carefully, lower halfway down, chaturanga, pause. Lower all the way down to the ground. Reach your left arm out to the left. Roll over to your left side. Step your right foot to the ground behind you. Option to reach back with your right hand and grab your right foot. You can kick the foot into your hand. Breathe in and out through your nose. Good, Cynthia. Lower your right knee a little more so it's inside the width of your hip. Good. Now take your thigh back instead of your knee up. Thigh back. Yes. Really good. Good adjustment. Nice, Aaron. Roll your right shoulder back a little more, Aaron. And then, Mason, if you can, can you relax your neck some? Maybe a block underneath your head? Left arm reaching out to the left. It's tucked behind you. Good, my friends, come back onto your stomach, please. Place your hands next to your chest. Oh, sorry, right side. Roll over to your right side now. Right arm reaches out to the right, step your left foot behind you. Reach back with your left hand, clasp your right foot. Take the foot back into your hand. We didn't do this side yet, right? No, we didn't. Okay, yeah. Kick back. And you lower your left knee a little bit so that your knee is inside the width of your hip good. So friends, rather than kicking up, kick back. Kicking back. Roll your left shoulder back more. That's your top shoulder, everybody. Relax your neck as best you can. Release the back foot. Come on to your hands again. Let's finish up Cobra Pose. Inhale. Downward facing dog. Exhale. All right, this is our last time through. Breathe in through your nose, out through your nose. Clear your mind. Focus your body and your awareness on the here. Now, right leg lifts up. You are insulated, protected by this bubble of breath that envelops us all. Right knee to right shoulder. Step outside of the right hand. And that focus and intention of your breath is keeping away the outside distractions. Reach your right arm up and back. Grab your left with those outside forces that try to limit or deter us. Heel to bum, squeeze. Kick the foot into your hand, open up. Again, squeeze the heel in, deepen your lunge. Kick the foot back, shoulders back, open up. One more time, heel to bum, squeeze. Kick back and open your heart. Release the back foot, take the right hand down. Half moon pose, right hand down, left leg lifts, left arm to the sky. You can use a block underneath your right hand or anything you have nearby, a table, chair, uh, water bottle is really helpful, a shoe, any little soup can maybe. If you wanna reach back with your left hand and grab your left foot, you can take your chapasana here. This is optional. Remember to maintain the integrity of breath and form before forcing the edge. Flex your quads, make your legs strong. 
Deepen your breath. Make your breath strong. Open it up. Kick back into your foot, into your hand. So nice. When you're ready, everyone, big step back with your left foot. Reach your left arm forward, side angle pose. If you feel good here and you want to add on, you can also reach your right arm forward. Lean back a little bit. Wrap your right hip under. Extend out through your arms and legs. Let's turn the left, wide-legged fold. So good, everybody. All right, here we go. From this wide-legged position, you have a multitude of paths that open up before you. Your journey is yours, so take the one that feels good. Stay here, interlace the hands behind the back. Grab your feet or ankles, or headstand or handstand. Press up and breathe. In through your nose and out through your nose. Draw into the core, press down. Extend it out. When you're ready, slowly make your way back down, nice and controlled. And we'll all meet back in the same place. Inhale, lift up to your fingertips. Good. Exhale, skandasana. It's our last skandasana of the day. I know, it's so sad. You're welcome to do more skandasanas on your own in your free time. You're welcome. Walk your hands to the top of the mat, please. Step back to down dog or last time side, plank to the left side. You can always bring a knee down, cross or stack your ankles, or turn it into a wild thing. Maybe you're going to land on the top of your right foot. It's a little bit more intense for the um, quads and hip flexors, so just be mindful of the actions you're taking. And we'll all come back to plank pose again, no matter what path we take. We have these moments of convergence and solidarity. Elbows in lower. Pause. Come onto your forearms, sphinx pose. Elbows under shoulders, press the feet down, pull your chest forward. Three times, lift your elbows up, lift your chest to the sky. Lower your elbows down. Good, lift your elbows up, lift your chest to the sky. Good, Brian, wrap your elbows in more. Yeah, and then drop your shoulders now. That's it, lower the elbows down. So rather than a pushing up so that your elbows go wide, all right, hug the elbows in, pull your chest forward to lift the elbows up. It's like you're trying to slide forward. That's it, good, Brian. Exhale, lower down. Hands next to your chest, focal pose. Downward facing dog. Okay, walk your hands back towards your feet, please. And roll your way up to standing. I'm gonna use a chair for this, you can too. And the chair is going to be, just for, for now, for a balance play, I want us to play around with dancer pose. And you can use the chair to help you balance. So you can use the seat of the chair to go lower or the back of the chair to stay higher. Here is what it's going to look like, and we'll have a little bit of play time with it. I'll start with my right side just because I'm facing you. I'm going to reach back with my right hand, grab the arch of my right foot, start to kick the foot into the hand. If this is as far as you want to go, great, you just work to here. But let's say you want to start taking this further, further, further. You want a little bit of support. This can help you get more kick in the back foot. You don't have to focus on the balance as much. So now you get to play with the lift and they kick a little bit more. If you want to go deeper, you just take your hand a little bit deeper. You get to focus on that lift and kick more. Pull your heart forward, lift your toes to the sky. Go ahead and try each side for just about five breaths on each side. You can also use the wall. You can just kind of place your one hand on the wall and do the same thing. This gives you a chance to be supported. So you can focus on the back bend and the stretch more than the balance part of it for now. Nice. Since you have your hand on something, if you have your hand on something, feel free to really kick and open up. Use that support to give you more space. 
in the stretch. Hold it for three, two, and one. Slowly lower it down. If you haven't done both sides yet, go ahead and do both sides now. Yeah, good. And if you have any questions, let me know. Make sure you grab the arch of your foot. So you're turning your palm in to grab the arch of your foot. Nice, Cynthia. I can't see that top leg, but I know it's up there. <laughs> Good, Emily, really nice. Lift your chest a little more if you can, Emily. Yes, now lift your big toe a little bit more on the top leg. Ooh, yeah, these look so sharp. Mason, really nice. Good, Shauna. All right, my friends, excellent job. So. Now we'll play with a little, one more back bend since we're kind of running out of time here. Um, just a nice back bend play. You can take this a number of ways. We've done a lot of really active stuff. So if you want to make this a more restorative back bend, you have the choice. You're just going to sit with your chest facing the chair, the back of the chair, and work your way down. If you have a pillow or towel, you put it on the edge of the chair if you want it for a little bit more cushion. Working your hands down. And this is just a really nice supported back bend. You can grab the edges of the chair if you want, or the edges of the mat. And here you have a chance to get this nice back bend shape without using too much force. So you get to utilize all of the space that you created without tension or force. It's a really nice stretch into your back. And if you have blocks or something with you, books, shoes, blankets, you can put them underneath your head so you don't go as deep as well. Or maybe let's say you have like a block under your head. You might just shift things a little bit. Your choice though, okay? If you'd rather just take a regular back bend, lie on your back and move into bridge or upward facing bow. I just want to provide options so that everyone has a path that serves them best today. If you're in the chair, you can stay there for the duration of our backbend practice, another minute or so. If you're not in the chair and you lower down, take a breath and then pick yourself back up, bridge or upward bow. Nice, Mason. Good, Cynthia. Nice, Steven. Steven, lift your outer hips a little bit more by pressing into your feet and spinning your thighs down. Good. Good, Lauren. Breathe in through your nose, out through your nose. Take one more breath wherever you are. And wherever you ended up, if you're in the chair, slowly start to come up. Make your way back onto your mat. If you're on the ground, slowly lower down. Good, my friends. Okay, let's turn over. Come onto your hands and knees, please. Bring your left shin forward, pigeon pose. All right, so now we're gonna kind of put to work what we've worked on, all those nice little back bend actions. Okay. Scissor your thighs together, lift your inner right thigh a little bit, roll your outer right hip forward, take your left hip underneath you, reach back with your right hand, reach back to grab the arch of your right foot, big toe side. Okay, stay here, maybe your left hand comes to your left thigh, you sit up a little bit taller. Or you can keep going, bring your right big toe into 
the elbow pit of your right arm. Keep lifting through the front of the hips. And then lastly, you can take your left arm up and back to grab your right hand. This is totally optional. Okay? Just offering different paths to take. You can easily just enjoy the pigeon pose without adding any of these extra movements in. One more breath. If you have any extra binds, release them. Come down onto your forearms, everybody. Stretch out through your legs, pull forward into your chest. Very nice. Come up onto your hands, tuck your back toes, and slide your left shin back. Come on to hands and knees, and we'll switch sides. Right shin forward, left leg back. One more of these, stretch out your legs, lift up into your chest. Reach back with your left hand and grab your left foot. Also, everyone, really good alignment here. Grab your left foot if you can. And pull your heel towards your bum. Maybe the right hand comes to the right thigh and get a little more lift. If you're feeling a lot of pressure in your back, you may have gone too far today. If you want to bring your big toe into your elbow crease, keep squeezing the midline, scissor thighs together so that you have strength and integrity here. Pose doesn't fall apart, you don't fall over to the side. Breathe. And slowly release it. Come onto your forearms. So good, everybody. Wherever you ended up, be so proud and so uh, grateful for exactly where you were today. Slowly come up. Take your left leg out in front of you. Shake out your legs. Take your left foot to the outside of your right thigh. Twist to your left, right elbow to your left thigh, please. Switch, right foot to the outside of the left thigh, twist to your right. Take your legs out in front of you, shake them out. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, fold in. Slowly roll up. Lower down onto your back. Bring your knees into your chest. Grab your feet. Happy baby. Rock it out side to side. My friends, awesome job today. Continue to breathe. Continue to create that force field, that insulated field of protection around you. Still not letting outside forces pull you away from this present moment. And recognizing your strength and confidence, power. We are the architects of our own reality, especially here and now, insulated by our breath force field, if you will. As you lower your feet down for Shavasana, what reality will you create for yourself? One of accomplishment, of pride, of joy, of bliss. It's up to you how you interpret your practice today. It's up to you what you choose to take away and what you choose to leave behind. Shavasana, let yourself be free in this moment.
Start to wiggle your fingers and toes, please. You're, of course, welcome to stay on your back and rest as long as you'd like. When you're ready, stretch your arms and legs out. Big breath in. Sigh it out, let it go. Bring your knees into your chest. Give yourself a squeeze. Rock your way up to seated, please. Ooh, that rhymes. Sitting up tall with your hands together at your heart. Close your eyes. Let's close with one ohm. Exhale your breath all the way out. Inhale for ohm. The light in me honors the light in you. May that light shine brightly for us all. Thank you for practice. Thank you so much, everyone, for an amazing practice today. If you have questions, comments, feedback, any requests for things to work on, reach out, let me know. I'd love to hear from you. Steven Arcos Yoga uh, or Yoga Echo Park on Instagram and Facebook. So two places, four places, really. Steven at Steven Arcos Yoga is my email. And if you have the ability to give, I greatly appreciate it. Venmo is Steven Arcos Yoga. And you can find me on paypal.me forward slash Steven Arcos Yoga. If you need help finding any of those things, again, reach out, ask me here now, let me know. But until then, I'll see you next time. Have a wonderful day. Thank you.